Hi everybody, it's Suzanne Grandchamp, divorce attorney, author of Marriages End, Families Don't, Divorce Wisely, and Jungian Coach. I help you empower yourself. In today's empowerment video, we're going to talk about an important resource if you're going through a divorce with a high conflict personality. You have to know about this resource. It's going to make your life a heck of a lot easier both during the proceeding and afterward. The resource is a book by the name of Biff, B-I-F-F, -F, Quick Responses to High Conflict People. It was written by Bill Eddy, E-D-D-Y, who is both an attorney and a licensed social worker. Through his work as a family law attorney and a social worker, Bill developed Biff. And BIF stands for Brief, Informative, Friendly, and Firm. And let's talk about each one of these letters. B, Brief. In working with a high conflict person, verbosity is not your friend. And you know it. They'll pick apart your answer. They'll go off on tangents. They'll make a mountain about a molehill and ignore a molehill uh, and a mountain or whatever you're bringing up for their um, review and reflection. High conflict people don't do well. Uh, they can spin, they can use word salad, they can do all sorts of interesting things with a verbose response. It's much better to be brief, be direct, and to be concise and to state the issue very specifically. Also, it's important not to really load up any sort of communication, be it a text or an email or even a conversation with a high conflict person with a lot of issues. You really need to parse it out and uh, do one issue at a time. I stands for informative. Ask the high con conflict person for what you want and limit it to one issue. So an example might be, if we do brief and informative, hi Joe, I'd like to change our pickup time on Sunday to 6.30 p.m. Short, sweet, concise, and informative. The first F, friendly. There's no need to use an expletive or any other jarring language, it's much easier to attract a fly with honey than it is with vinegar. So be polite. Dear Joe, I'd like to change our pickup time to 6.30 p.m. on Sunday. Thanks for the consideration. Respectfully, Mary. Here again, you don't wanna spool up the high conflict person by being rude or impolite or um, getting a couple of licks in in the communication. It might feel great, but it won't help you resolve the issue. The second F is firm. So brief, informative, friendly, and firm. So an example of firm in our previous hypothetical with Joe and Mary uh, about to negotiate a change in the pickup time on Sunday might be, Dear Joe, I'd like to propose a change in the pickup time on Sunday to 6.30 p.m. Please let me know by tomorrow at noon if this works for you or not. Thank you for your consideration. Respectfully, Mary. In this example, the firm is the deadline of whatever it was, noon tomorrow. And it's important to keep things tight and to be direct and firm in your correspondence or your conversation with a high conflict person. You're not gonna waffle, you're not gonna waffle on what you're asking for. Maybe uh, maybe instead of 6.30, it could be 5.30 or 2.30 or no, 6.30. I need to know by tomorrow at noon. You gotta be firm with them because otherwise they play games. You know that. They'll be like, well, what about 2.30? What about 3.30? No, just let me know if 6.30 works for you. And I need to know by tomorrow at noon. And, <clears throat> you know, they may not agree to it. Um, they are a high conflict person after all. But at least you've enforced what you need and you've set a time frame for that. And if you don't get what you want, then you 
plan appropriately. But you hold that high conflict person to a boundary. Hey everybody, that's just a little empowerment tip. Biff, uh, Quick Responses to High Conflict People, the book by Bill Eddy. I'll post a link below or you can purchase it on Amazon. I don't get any kickback or anything from Bill. It's just a great resource. Um, if you happen to find your, yourself going through a divorce or any sort of legal proceeding with a high conflict person. Also another great resource is my book, Marriage is End, Families Don't Divorce Wisely, which is available for PDF download on my website, which is suzannegrandchamp.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.